Hello, my friend, and welcome back to your daily dose of Brood War. I'm feeling a lot better today. Not nearly as coffee or as congested as yesterday, so I'm looking to do a bit of a longer cast this time. We've got Barracks up here in the top right, Calm in the bottom left. If you guys have been watching this channel for any length of time, you would know that Barracks is one of my absolute favorites right now. He's been on the come up for a little while. You can see him grinding like crazy. Calm as well. Another player I've mentioned as being one of the up and coming great players in Zerg. And a third I should mention is Ruin, the Protoss player who makes up that triumvirate. The three players, one from each race, who are looking to be the future of this beautiful game we call Brood War. And we're going to see how these two are matching up here today. Uh, this is a ladder game from December 19th of 2023. So very, very recent would be when I was still in Thailand for the BSL. So uh, this was sent to me by Dude Nerd. So shout out to him and let's go ahead and get on into this game. Looks like we've got the wall in here at the front. 12 hatchery over here for calm. Interesting placement of this spawning pool. It's fine to place this out here. You know, some players will place it like right on the edge of the minerals or back here. But actually, that makes it more vulnerable because whenever you get a drop going, Terran players will try to drop behind the mineral patches usually. And if you've got your spawning pool here, for instance, it kind of blocks you from getting back there to deal with it. Uh, it also puts it in danger of being sniped. So putting it out here on the right hand side, it's really rare to see a Terran player drop Marines uh, like right here, except maybe later on in the game, they might just try to sweep in and drop right there. But most of the time they'll try to drop behind the mineral line. It's just a way of keeping your spawning pool a little bit safe. And it's not really necessary to try and tuck it in. We're not playing against Zerg or anything where you might have to deal with uh, a Zealot attacking here or a Lings trying to attack your drone. Might as well put it on the right hand side here. So I, I like to see those small adjustments, those minor adjustments here as the Zerg player. Now starting to move out with some Marines. It's going to be spotted by Calm. He sees that. I'm pretty sure he saw that. He's got one drone coming in here. He sees one Marine. So he's got to be questioning a little bit, like, where are the rest of the Marines right now? He's going to see what this Overlord for sure. But he hasn't started any more Lings, and he's actually supply blocked right now. So he does, I think, do some sort of trick here. Yeah, he did made a uh, creep colony or something so they could pop out another pair of Lings, but that's scary. Three Marines and an SCV going to come in here. It looks like they will just turn around at the very last moment and full-on drone production here starts for calm so making a slight error but not overproducing his lings here just getting about four lings and he's gonna push this back i wonder if barracks will continue this pressure barracks is so aggressive with his early marines it can sometimes bite him in the butt like it can sometimes be uh, to his detriment but here i think it's all right as long as he gets these back home without taking any damage, without losing any Marines, he should be fine. Link speed does finish, though. Three Links making their way forward here. But it appears that Barracks will make it back home. Yeah, he can't kill four Marines with just three Links. It's not good enough. Gonna run up here towards the natural, try to duck in there, but not going to happen. Back at home here, we've got the Spire on the way. That academy just about to finish up here. And it looks like we've gone for a plus one build. An early plus one here for barracks. So not going to put on that quick two racks pressure. But he's built quite a few marines. So he might still be able to put on a little bit of pressure here. But with this 2.5 hatch build from Calm, You know, and the fact that it's cross map. I don't think he'll be able to get in here. And actually do any damage or force any sunken colonies. That's what it looks like to me. And he hasn't moved out yet. So I think that's going to be the case. Zero pressure coming here from Barracks. After that initial mo Marine move out. And here we go. Four 
barracks play. Now, this is uh, something that you want to do just to take advantage of the fact that we're going for this early plus one upgrade. That early plus one is going to give you a stronger marine force and coupling that with the four racks play, you're going to have a serious powerful move out when the time comes. Oh, losing one marine but trading three for three lings there. Not the greatest move by Calm, I would say. Those lings can be used, utilized later. Maybe if he draws the marines up into the main, he could come running in with the lings and kill a turret or something. But now that those lings are gone, it's not going to be a real option here. Going to decide to take the hatchery in the top left-hand corner for his third base. Calm going to start to harass these turrets. Flying straight on through here. Marines are getting into position. They're going to deal some damage to these Mutas. Bring that up here now. As the Mutas get lower and lower, Calm going to have to bounce on out of here. He loses one Mutalist, but he's done a significant amount of damage here. Killing off quite a few SCVs. Evening out that worker count pretty significantly here as he continues to build up that Mutalist count. No Hydralist den just yet. He's going to focus on fighting these Marines now. And the Forex pressure play is going to start to come forward here for Barracks. You know that he wants to get a aggressive here. He wants to get out on the map and pressure this Zerg player as much as possible. Fight with the Marines as he techs up forward here. Factory is on the way, so the teching will be coming. Plus one armor is coming up here as well. Plus one attack. Going to finish up shortly here for Calm. And his Mutalist group is reaching that critical mass. He's got about that 10, 11 count of Mutas that you want to dive in on these Mutalists with. He's going to force out one more Stim. Not able to do so just yet. Instead, heading over towards the natural. Going to gun down one of these turrets pretty darn quick. We'll have to back away as the Marines return to the natural, though. Doing a decent job here of keeping Barracks busy and on his side of the map as he drones up back at home. There's the Hydralist end. And a Queen's Nest going to finish up here shortly. A little bit of trading at the front. But this Marine Force is going to continue to grow here. Even if you're killing off a couple of Marines every once in a while. Four Barracks Production is going to reach that critical mass. That scary group of Marine Medic where you just can't even actually engage with it anymore. At a certain point, you're going to have to wait for the Marines to move forward. Try to go across the map, and then you're probably going to be able to trail behind them and tr start to pick things off. But he loses two more Mutas there. A little bit rough for Calm. Bringing up some Lings now as well. It appears that he actually wants to surround and kill this, and I think that Barracks has figured that out. He's just going to stay right next to his rallies here and continue to reinforce this position as much as possible. Barracks a bit on the back foot here, but he's getting closer and closer towards that splash damage he needs to take the fight to common. His group is growing larger. His one armor is about to finish now. Sending out a marine by itself. It's going to be sent down to the bottom right. He wants to find out where that base is, and he actually scans it in the top left. He sees that. Not a great reaction here from Barracks. He's back at home building something. Not moving his marines or stimming them forward to attack. There we go. Gets a decent attack there. But trades out some more marines. That's a lot of lings, man. If Barracks moves just up to this ramp, I think that this trap will be activated. And likely we'll see Calm dive upon this army. Single marine moving towards the top left. But there are lurkers on that high ground. These mutalists are starting to run low on that value, though. Because as soon as the radiate comes out... They won't be nearly as powerful as they have been thus far. 11 mutas here. And he's going to go for it. Okay, he's not even going to wait, I think, for these marines to move forward. He's going to pull the trigger here as soon as he baits the marines forward. Here we go. Lings are going to jump on top of all of this. Tons of lings here ravaging this marine count. And the mutas are being uh, a micro beautifully in the back. I think quite a bit of those lings were actually not attacking during that. So... Not the best engage. He probably should have ran by a little bit with some of the lings to get the better surround there. A lot of them were being blocked by those medics in that fight. So not the greatest surface area there. And a lot of those lings get thrown away before this adrenal upgrade comes online and before this uh, 
armor upgrade comes up as well, which is not the greatest. Plus two is now on the way. Do we have a second eBay coming up yet for barracks? It's very important to get those double upgrades rolling here. ASAP moving up towards the top uh, left. Will he try a Dematrix play or are we going to have some Irradiates come down? Irradiates going to fall down on these units. One Irradiate still left over here for the Mutas in case they decide to engage. There's one Irradiate, but a very low value Irradiate here. As long as, you know, Calm actually pulls this out. He hasn't yet. There we go. He finally does realize it. Going to send these Mutalists to a defensive position. Try to stop drops and maybe from coming through. He's got Scourge out already. He has some pretty good scouting information. I'd like to see this Overlord moved over to here, though. There you go. He's paying attention. Very good play by Calm. You have to be on top of everything at this point. You have to have vision everywhere to make sure that drops won't come through because you know that this man, Barracks, above all, uh, all others, is willing to to go for some crazy plays. He's definitely willing to go for some wild drops and will combine a drop with a frontal attack uh, if he sees that opportunity. No drop ships popping out just yet. Barracks focusing on getting his next command center out. Gonna go up to three base here while continuing to pressure, making sure that the space hasn't been taken. As soon as this space has been taken, it'll be time for Barracks to begin putting on that pressure to be coming forward and dropping irradiates on everything. But for now, he's just making sure that nothing's moving through the middle of the map. Now, there's no defiler trying to walk across and put a dark swarm in his natural. That indeed his opponent is planning to go for a longer game here, to go for a macro game. He's going to come forward, get some more radiates down once again. Irradiate here, irradiate there, one more on this defiler. There are Scourge here that are available, but they haven't been sent forward to actually kill these Science Vessels. A missed opportunity for Calm. Unfortunately there. Not going to be able to pick off any of these Science Vessels, and the count is getting pretty high. We've already got six Science Vessels. Seven and eight have just popped out. Two dropships on the way here, so we will be getting to that dropship play. Barracks here, kind of spread out. Only one Medic in the front. Not the greatest for holding the front of the base, but it will prevent things from sneaking out without him knowing, at least. It's like these links may be able to clean this up, actually. That's a little bit rough. You know, if he had a medic with this, would have helped out things a lot. Maybe a stim as well could have uh, really helped out. Looks like we might have lost one or two vessels. No, now we've got them all together. Vessel's still alive here. Total of eight vessels now. That's a lot of irradiate. It gets pretty scary when you can come in and irradiate eight things at a, a time. Every few seconds. It gets pretty darn scary. So we will have to see Calm start to get rid of some of these vessels. Otherwise, the pressure is going to continue to mount here. Fourth gas will be on the way here shortly. But fourth base is now done for Barracks. And he's really starting to add on his production here. His namesake here in the main going up to... A good number of barracks here. Even more should be added on soon. The army here at the front has been cleaned up. Lings are on the move now. And plus two armor is about to finish. Plus one attack for those. This is going to finish as well. Wow. Five fire bats. Going to be dematrix here and sent in. Absolutely crushes these lurkers here. And he should be able to break through this as well. That's so many dematrix fire bats. It's kind of crazy. He kills all of these lurkers wow what an insane play here by barracks he breaks through kills the fourth base and this is just mayhem right now for our zerg player so tough to handle and he's gonna go for a drop play as well oh these are not even filled one second i've got a cough here sorry about that guys i thought i was uh Thought I was better off. I thought I was uh, more healed, but it is what it is. We're going to make it through this cast together. Four dropships now making their way. Well, there's, these two are empty. That's a little bit silly. Barracks making a pretty so sizable error right now. I'm going to drop here on the mineral line. This is not what you want. This is not what you want. Dropping right onto a ton of lings and a, uh, a defiler ready to fight this. Yikes. 
That was not good, but the dropships will make it out. And actually, this is doing better than I thought. A lot of those links got taken out by these fire bats. And I don't know how many drones were lost there, but he's down to 31. Yikes. That actually went be way better than expected. Um, yeah, despite not only loading up two dropships and dropping right under Dark Swarm, he still clears a lot. Man, fire bats are better than you would expect. There we go. Finally getting some of these uh, vessels here, but he's still not going to be able to take his fourth base. And the counterattack from... Calm is coming through, but there's a bunker. That bunker is going to do a lot here to slow things down. A hidden base down at 6 o'clock will be thrown. Will be thrown out here, but... Jeez, we've got the eraser trick coming through. Drones are going to start to fall here. Another base being sent over in the center left. This is desperation mode right now for Calm. He's just trying to throw out a ton of bases and hope that something sticks. Battle cruisers are being added on now. And this is kind of like the kill move for a player like Barracks, for a Terran player in a position like this. He's just going to start spamming out uh, battle cruisers and sending them in against this player who's already starved for gas. He's very low on that gas. He's going to keep on dropping. Killing off this base is huge. Oh, shit. He's only got two Marines left inside this drop, so not the greatest drop here for Barracks. He might actually get the spawning pool, though. He's actually breaking into the top left as well. This is just too much pressure here for Calm to handle. Calm is falling apart right now. He's going to lose his Nidus Canal. If he loses this, the game is over and GG is called. Wow. Barracks with that insane bust. The five fire bats dematrixed. That's what could happen when you're not able to slow down the buildup of those uh, science vessels. When you get about eight, nine science vessels, and you're just able to break through everything. And Barrick's going to stick around for a little while. Just kill off all these bases. I'm surprised he's doing this right now. But hey, he's pretty happy about taking down Calm here. He made some errors, definitely. But the big moves end up working. The big bust here, shutting down that fourth base and Calm crumbles under the pressure. GG, we're going to jump into game number two. All right, game number two here. We're going to see if Calm can get some vengeance against Barracks, but Barracks just looking so solid in that last game, man. His macro, his micro, everything looking really, really good there. Of course, there were some mistakes, some areas that could be taken advantage of, but is Calm prepared to take advantage of those facts? Is he capable of taking down barracks here. It's what it is. It is what it is in every game of Brood War. There are plenty of mistakes, but it really seems to be the player who makes the least mistakes wins. And Calm just making a few more errors there. Being a little bit weak in his defense on that fourth base. You know, if you only have stacked lurkers trying to defend your fourth or even your third on that high ground. D-Matrix Firebat is an insane counter. It works so good. We've been seeing it more and more lately. Even in big tournaments like the ASL, it's been a serious factor. And it's very exciting to watch as well. Kind of awesome to see. Does take a lot of energy though. That's like, what it, What was it? Four Firebats that got uh, D-Matrix there? That's 400 energy. That's 100 energy on each vessel. Vessel. That's four less irradiates that you have. Even more than that. Each irradiates only 75 energy. So that's a lot of irradiates that won't be used to kill units on the side of the Zerg. So if it doesn't work, it's pretty painful. But it seems to work more often than not. These Terran players are able to get serious damage with it. So... I think we're going to see that play more and more, and eventually we'll have to see measures from the Zerg taken to deal with that fact, to kind of prevent that from happening. Even with the uh, Dark Swarm, it's just not good enough to keep that from occurring. So, 
we'll have to see other changes i'm looking forward to seeing what players like calm can come up with in the future to kind of negate the possibility of being broken in that manner but jumping into this next game we are here on dark origin everything looking normal from the beginning of this game we've got only one marine being produced here it looks like it was built just after i think the command center started i'm not 100 percent sure on that but he's got that little scout in there he saw what was going on he's gonna send the marines across the map once again so again with the marine counter or with the marine early pressure here not a counter there's been nothing coming from calm thus far these marines might end up getting a lot of damage here oh god what am i looking at calm don't tell me you didn't produce any lings at all. Oh my god, okay. He's gonna make a run for it. Again, a little bit supply blocked here. Maybe this is part of Com Com's build that he gets supply blocked at this point. I'm not sure. Maybe to slip out this hatchery a little bit earlier? Yeah, I can't I can't really say about that. He lost one drone already, and here comes a bunker behind the the natural calm. Come on, man. I talked you up so much at the beginning of this cast and now we're we're witnessing absolute domination here by barracks this is um this is sad guys what is going on here build some lings my friend there is a bunker behind your natural here and the hatchery is taking damage we're gonna need to see lings come out in force kill this bunker and then probably go across the map and deal damage although i don't think that's going to be a possibility look at how carefully barracks has maneuvered himself here he's got this for the counter attack this is very smart play from barracks he got out a very quick uh command center and he's got this pressure going looks like the marines are gonna pull out of the bunker oh my god this is so painful that was such a good play by barracks look at that he popped out of the bunker and because they were out of the bunker, he tried to attack the Marines there with the Lings, and the Lings just weren't able to fit. Oh my god, this is so painful right now. The drones are going to have to be pulled away again. More Lings are being produced. I thought he was going to be able to kill that and then counter, but he's not able to counter at all. He's got no Lings left. He's got Spire just about to finish. Yo. Calm is like dead, man. This is brutal. I hate to call it early, but god damn, Barracks, masterfully done. Absolute masterfully done. Making Calm look like a noob right now. That was insanity. Absolutely, Calm getting way too greedy in this game. He should have been prepared for this move out, which I'm I mean, Barracks does this almost every game, moving across the map with a few Marines. Sometimes he turns around, but if you don't prepare for it at all. He will do something like that. Build a bunker behind your natural and... Man, that did so much damage. It's actually crazy. I thought he was going to get a good trade there because he stopped the SCV from repairing. But that pop out of the bunker... <laughs> God, he should have just killed that bunker, man. He should have just focused the bunker. Because the Marines could have jumped back in if he got on top of the Marines, right? But... You kill the bunker, then you've got open area to jump on top of the marines, but instead you try to run by. God damn, that was painful. Absolutely, utterly painful to watch, and he has recovered pretty well. Overall, his drone count is now high. Actually, higher than Barracks at this point, surprisingly. But Barracks making this transition here. He's sitting back, upgrading. He's got marines out. That's a lot of drones, man. He did a ton of droning. I'm actually shocked at how well Calm has recovered from this position. He took a ton of damage. He's taking the upper right as well. That's a sneak base. Calm here. Putting on his uh, mustache sunglasses. Hiding himself in plain sight. Putting on a disguise here. Keeping knowledge away from Barracks right now. But, I mean, four Mutas. He's not able to put on any pressure right now. And look, we're at 7 minutes 30. 
He hasn't even killed a single SCV. He hasn't killed a Marine. He hasn't done anything with these mutas. So sacrificing all early pressure with the mutas here simply to get drone count out, to get his drone count back up to where it should be and mitigate those early losses. But Barrack's going to move across the map. And if this is not respected, he will absolutely kill you right now. He's coming towards the front. There's the respect that Barrack certainly deserves. A ton of sunken colonies coming up here right now. He's going to lose this overlord that he's using to micro his mutas. And his sunken colonies are far from completing right now. He's going to bring all the mutas together. And with 11, he should be okay here. And the sunken's finishing up. He should be able to hang on. Barracks stimming once again. And these mutas are actually going to go straight across the map to start harassing on the other side. He thinks that, you know, four sunkins should be enough. It should be enough to hold back barracks here, but we'll see. Is barracks going to pull the trigger here or not? Looks like he's going to back away. Coming in, going to jump on top of these turrets. Some repairing action going down right now, and Marine's going to come down as well. These mutas still in a big clump. More than 12 in this clump right now. Gonna come forward and start to pick off some Marines. This is not going too bad for our Zerg player. He's had to give up quite a few drones because of make, uh, because he had to make so many of those sunken colonies. But he's starting to pick off some SCVs on the other side. This base may become operational here soon. Hydra's being built here. Oh, what is Calm doing right now? This man... Trying to find a sneaky way back in this game, I feel. He's going to make a hive. And I think he's going to build lurkers here and break down the back and start producing defilers over at that base. So we're going to see an all-in here from Calm from this point. He is not going to play a macro game against this Terran player. He is looking for a quick win as he continues to fight down these Marines. A lot of turrets are being built here. Barracks taking this super seriously. The lurkers are going to be made. Okay, where was that scan? I didn't see it. I guess it was up here. Coming back in once again. Dealing some more damage. Trying to kill as many marines as possible. And actually keeping the attention of barracks over here. Looks like the scan was in the natural. Keeping the attention of barracks right over in this position. He's going to bait the marines up here. But this is all a ploy right now. Another scan. Oh, he sees it. He sees it. This is huge. He sees this base. Lurkers are going to be morphed, but the Marines are already on the move. It's very important that Barracks gets up here. Oh, he's going to catch this drone transfer. Really unfortunate here for our Zerg player. The Marines are going to get up here in time. The Lurkers are morphing on the ramp, but they're not able to fully block. Luckily, Mutas are here in that defense. Finally, the Lurkers will pop. Lurkers burrow. Another egg is made at the front, and he will hold for now. But the uh, ploy has been discovered. I don't think that uh, he'll be able to continue this attack. He should try, though. Going to pop some more Lurkers back at home. Try to break through this, but already... Marines are present. They're ready to start fighting this back. Barracks completely aware of what kind of play Calm is looking to do right now. Some drones can pop through here. He's going to start to break through this stasis cell. As an evolution chamber comes up. So there is some sort of idea of a late game here for Calm. He's realizing that probably he's not going to be able to all in through this back stasis cell. You'll have to come up with something a little bit more long-term to be able to break this. But at the same time, there's not really enough for Barracks at this position, and he hasn't... Oh, he's noticed now. Okay. He's got some uh, Marines sending uh, coming back here. He's going to try and break this front at the same time. Double stack of Lurkers here. Some Scourge are available as well to ward away these science vessels. He's got to keep this... Uh, Defiler alive here. Defiler super important to this attack. He's going to lose it. That's so unfortunate. Okay, we do have a second Defiler though. And Lurker's pushing forward. Lurker's coming through this back part of the base. Two stack of Lurkers here at the front. 
But this defiler is going to get taken out. This is really unfortunate right now for Kam. He needs to push forward here a little bit quicker. Going to drop a second one right on top of this ramp, I believe. On the ramp. No, he doesn't get it. Oh my god, this is so painful for Kam. He's waiting on two defilers to pop out, but he just started making them. Oh no. This, uh, this is going to run out. And I think that Barracks is going to be able to push this back. A big mistake here by Calm. He actually needed these Defilers already on, to be already on the way right now. He's going to catch a couple of Science Vessels, it looks like. One does go down. Going to be able to push this back slightly. Big group of Marines here at the front. Holding the fort down. Checking the back of his own stasis cell. The Lurkers here just kind of stuck at the moment. Some Defilers are going to pop out and start to head back there. Really he has to make this push work. And I don't see any more Lurkers with this. He might have to pull some from this defense and head to the front. That may open up a opportunity for his opponent to break this. For the Terran player to break this. Coming up the ramp now. Going to drop a Dark Swarm up here. No! No Dark Swarm in time. So painful here for our Zerg player. One Lurker going to be dropped, but here comes the Fire Bats annihilating that Lurker and everything falling apart. He's going to pull all the defenses. This is just in time here. Barrack's going to head up in this direction. Picks off one Science Vessel. Going to come up this ramp once again. Ling's trying to make it up here. Now Siege Tanks are available as well. They're going to start to Siege up this position and push everything back getting up this ramp now gonna siege in range of this tank we'll have to pull that away defiler's still alive here can drop another dark swarm a little bit closer inching ever forward here this is a very scary push for barracks he has to take this very seriously keeps throwing down science vessel I, i'm surprised he didn't bring the tanks down here man catch the units that are coming uh, along this path but i guess he didn't have the ability to this is a couple more science vessels. That's really hurting his ability to clear this. And Calm is getting more and more aggressive at this point. Here comes the counterattack up and towards the top right. Can he actually break this right now? That would be huge if he gets up here and kills this Nidus. And then the push will be stopped. Eventually, he will be able to clear this with just irradiates. He pushes forward. He kills the Lurker. He should get the Nidus here. The Nidus is getting low. He will stop the Nidus. Irradiates going down on all of this. Firebats trying to rush forward and kill something here. He needs to target the low HP Lurker. No, he does not get the target. Everything as is popping out is getting killed, but this base is dead. Wow, who's going to win this game now? I feel like Barracks should be able to do it. There's no Defiler here. Eventually, don't lose that tank. For the love of God, do not lose that tank. Coming forward with some Marines. Lings and no lurkers. Okay, just pure Ling gonna make its way up to the front here. The barracks are getting very, very low. Man, this is taking forever. Science vessels are gonna get taken out as well. Lurkers gonna run up to the top, stack themselves on top of these barracks and try to do their best to stay out of range of the tanks. Marines moving to the front. We've got another base up here for barracks. He's gonna move in range. And this, this uh, setup here from barracks has actually proved so effective. He stopped the Lurkers from getting in range of the SCVs, and he is going to clean this. Wow. Calm has been shut down. What an incredible defense from Barracks here. This is a wild, wacky game, guys. Thanks for being here with me. This is just crazy. And it looks like Barracks should be able to take things from here. He's denied a third base, not allowing Calm to secure one. Is the route to victory in this position. Have some lurkers moving up here. Defiler as well. He should be able to get a nice plague. Good plague there with that defiler. Hydra should be able to clear up whatever is left over now. But Barracks is going to retreat. And he's taking another base. Look at how aggressively he's taking these bases right now. Absolute madman. Barracks adding on these bar the, the barracks that he lost. Not even repairing these burning buildings. They're not going to burn down. They're not in that red HP. So not even going to worry about that. All he's worried about is the kill move at this point. 
finding a way to finish off this base to stop that third base from ever coming up and choke out his zerg opponent he's gonna get in here with some uh with some tanks and actually the defiler and lurker combo is gonna get right on top of this nice plague on a lot of these uh fire bats but that's just too many fire bats too many fire bats here I'm gonna rip through these two lurkers the two pesky lurkers that tried to hold this position and Barracks is going to get his fourth ba base online. He's going to go for a fifth base as well. Absolute wild man here. Doing absolutely everything. At the exact same time. Pushing, taking bases. Replenishing his barracks count. Adding on his tech. Throwing down a radiates. This guy is out of control. Look at this. GG is called. He's already at 161 supply. Just... Absolute insane level macro from this guy. I don't know if I've seen anything like it aside from a player like Flash. And in, on occasion, I think Light has reached this level. But look at all the bases that he's able to take. With all that pressure that was going on in his main. He was able to take this base. He was able to macro out of this. Break the top right. Take this base as well. Put pressure on everywhere. He's going to stay around. Take a victory lap here. He certainly deserves it. Taking down Calm in a explosive game. Kind of a desperate game, actually, from Calm. After he took all that damage from the bunker. It was a pretty decent play to go for this proxy hatchery and try to push through the top here, but... His control was just a little bit off. He was, wasn't able to get the Dark Swarm here on the high ground as quickly as he would have liked. The Lurkers came through and did a lot of damage, but Barracks weathers the storm and takes this series 2-0, guys. That was, that was impressive. That was so much fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. That's all I have. Just two games between these two fantastic players. I'm going to be looking out for more Barracks games. I hope you'll join me on this adventure. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.